Hi, welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to use recursion. So, what we're going to do first save our file in the desktop as recurse.py. Okay, here we have it. So, we're going to need to define a function. I'm gonna call it countdown for x. Okay, so what we're going to do is in this function we're going to write an if so we are going to what we're going to do here is, one, is we're going to print um, let's say if we have 6 we're going to print, print 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 um, so if x is smaller oh, yeah smaller or the same as zero I'm taking this example from the book as but I'm going to like explain it to you so you can understand uh, so what we're going to do here okay we have our function we have our variable so if we're going we're saying if X is is smaller or the same as zero we're going to say hey we don't want that. We're going to. We want something bigger than zero. Zero, and we're going. We're going to go to zero, printing number by number. So here we could print. Um, I don't know. We could say uh, error. Okay. So else, that means if x is bigger than zero, what we're going to do is we're going to print x and what we're going to do is as we have countdown here we are going to yeah we're going to um, tick one out of x okay uh, we need to as the user for x so in the near input right down and in the year okay and we're going to call the function countdown yeah x perfect and we're going to do a bit. So there we have it. There's some functions. So if x is lower or the same as zero, we're going to print hey error because we don't want that. So else is going to mean that x is bigger than zero. So we're we're first going to print x. Uh, yeah, and we were we are going to uh, mm, subtract one of that number, that in integer number. The the user just just wrote down control save we're going to test it so cd desktop it's called recurse.py recurse.py enter so here it goes right down in here in the year um let's say 10 and there we go mm, 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 i don't know this is, looks like wrong but we could we could put another word here like end I'm sorry <laughs> and um, yeah that's it so I hope you learn how to use a recursion It's very simple you just subtract one or you can add one to uh, our variable and so the condition in this case uh, is is done so that's it for me uh, hope you enjoyed this video and click like if you really do like it and thanks thanks for watching